this is not what most people would consider to be a road car, and it's not. It contested the FIA GT Championship back in 1997, and it is, of course, the McLaren F1. But in long tail, final, the most evolutionary version. Now, not a lot of people know that you can now have these cars converted by Lanzante or the factory, both specialists in looking after F1s, to road going spec. We've got Dean here. We're at Vista Airfield. It's not exactly Le Mans, but I have brought them here today to try and find out just how practical this car would be to convert to take down your local high street. Should we find out? <laughs> so far, I think I'm answering the question. <laughs> So imagine that that took rather less time than it actually did, which is why we've cut it. The roll cage here makes getting in and out somewhat complicated. Obviously, there's no passenger seat at the moment, but you do get one if you convert it for the road. You don't get one on the right-hand side because you've got all the electronics where second passenger's feet would be. As you can see, it's pretty rudimentary inside. Carbon fiber, yes, but it's not finished off in the way that you'd expect in a Bugatti Chiron or indeed a McLaren F1 road car. And the other unusual thing about the, the long tail car is that you've got this sequential gearbox. So forward is down the box, uh, backwards is up. You use this flap to engage neutral, but otherwise you can change gear most of the time, I'm told, without even using the clutch. So you can make absolutely lightning fast shifts. So that's all the theory. <laughs> Let's see if we can put it into practice. Master on. Pump and ignition on. Neutral on the screen. And then without any gas, start. Simple. Okay, let's see if we can remember where the gears are. First, no accelerator. Now that's pretty amazing for a racing car that you can take off with no gas. Okay, turning a circle really isn't very good. All digital display, 1500 revs. You're really wedged into this seat. All right, water temperature 92, oil temperature 94, it's all digital. Up to seconds. You don't have to use the clutch once you're going fast, but at low speeds, it's not a bad idea to do so. Fifth, fourth, third. That I love. In fact, you can just hammer the gear change and it does what you want. No fuss, straight in. Let's for a second think more practically. You're not on the Mulsanne straight, you're going to Sainsbury's. Could you actually use this as a road car? Can you imagine driving from London to Monaco in this? With headphones on and somebody carrying your luggage? Do you know what? I think you actually could. Okay, neutral and off. <laughs> wow, that is something else. That's one head of a machine. So Dean, you're the man that knows these cars better than anybody. You worked on bit. the team that won Le Mans. Correct. You have pioneered with Gordon Murray. Yes, that's correct, yeah. Converting these long tail, well, first of all, the short tails for the road? Yep, the short tails first. First one we did of that was in 97. Okay, you did one already back in 97? 97, we did uh, 12R. Okay. And Ray Belm drove it to Le Mans and then raced his <laughs> long tail. And how long does it take to do one of these conversions to a road car? 
around six months. The first one was much longer. The yeah. first one so when we worked with Gordon, um, you've, you've seen yourself, all, all the images, it went to, to their factory, went on a flat patch and everything. everything. Yeah. There's a lot of calculations yeah. Yeah. involved. Now it is more in kit form, uh, but it's around six months uh, to, do, six to months do one. To do. Yeah. What are the upsides and the downsides of this compared to, let's say, a short tail on the road? Once road converted, well, the only main thing that is the difference is the gearbox. Okay. In, in that you've got a sequential gearbox versus an H pattern gearbox. Okay. You're familiar yourself with a road car, H pattern gearbox. The difference between a road car and a race car is literally straight cut gears. So you've got single mesh gearbox in both. So you can turn up to a junction, fifth gear, knock Go it out of first. gear. It's simple. Yeah. With this straight cut dog gearbox and a sequential mechanism for it. So you'd have a 900 kilo car 700 with 700 horsepower. horsepower. Normally aspirated, variable cam, so you've got huge torque spread, big capacity, so you've got plenty of torque as well. Fantastic. Dean, thank you very much for the masterclass on F1s and in particular converting long tails for the road. Watch this space. Absolutely. Cheers. this you are you the last person that raced this i was the last person to race this car the british gt meeting 1998 um which was the race that followed so it was only a year old it was only a year old it was just a current race weapon yep um i raced it against steve o'rourke and tim sugden who come straight from le mans in their long tail cars like this what i notice is, is when you're in their presence Everyone goes quiet. If you're in the presence of uh, the Speed 6 that won Le Mans, you'd be quiet. I think if you're in the presence of a Golf 917, people would just stand back and they'd take the car in. And I think the long tail McLaren is, is in the same category. I mean, in some respects, it went to Le Mans as a GT car, as a road car, and its Le Mans win was the stuff of legends. I mean, Gordon took what was essentially meant to be a road car and made it into this. And I just think it's, you know, when you see the hand of genius that made the McLaren road car, mm. and that road car won Le Mans, albeit an, an, an exceptional Le Mans, where conditions came to it, and yet the car came to the race, to then take this car and develop it further. Yes, it's the long tail, mm. and it's, but it, it's more than that too. Well, it's good that you got to come today to well, be reunited you. with it after so many years. Well, Let's make, let's make sure it's not another 23. Well, I have to say it's brought back lots and lots of great memories. And, um, you know, I, I have to say I, I consider myself beyond lucky to have done this, you know, back in the day and, 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 and having talked myself into it. Uh, just getting back in it today, it, it, it's, yeah, it's brought back a lot of great memories and I, I can't thank you enough. It's, it's been... Well, if it gets road time. converted, we'll have to go for a road trip. Please road convert it, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm in. Cool. Gregor, thank you very much. Thanks, Simon. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you.